pizza tash, you know. Yeah. <laughs> he's doing the two things. He's being a Rastafarian and, and, and he's smoking weed. <laughs> and and it's very revolutionary. So they they kind of wanted to quiet him and silence him. So they every time they saw him with it, they would harass him. They would give him extra, you know, like just extra extra hardships. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. Every time they see him. Yeah. So it it was so seven different times. He got beat to the point of like, you know, there was one time where he really almost died in the cell, like bust up head, wow. like with the button and all that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. Because I, um, I heard you also mention on an interview, because I, I learned from other people. I love to hear stories, right? Yeah. Because even when you were talking about your dad and his situation, I heard you mention Peter Tush, mm -hmm. that he went through something, but you never went into, I don't know the story about it's how Peter he Tush. almost died or whatever. Oh, yeah, seven times uh, police beat him. Wow. Because of what? For weed. And it was very- uh, In Jamaica? Uh, yeah. Especially in the 70s too, you know, uh, it was still looked at like Rastafarianism was still looked upon as like little trash people. Mm. You know what I mean? We, they didn't- the the upper echelon of society they didn't treat Rastafarians with any respect. From the fifties that was happening, um, police was told to shoot and kill Rastafarians as they mm. see them back I think I heard before that the fifties, right? So, so by the seventies it was a lot more, it was a lot different. But also, um, you know, the whole weed smoking thing and all of that vibe. People kind of just put a stigma on you. You know what I mean? Wow. So. And, and so it was very, he, he, he's pizza tash, you know. Yeah. <laughs> he's doing the two things. He's being a Rastafarian and, and, and he's smoking weed. <laughs> and, and it's very revolutionary. So they, they kind of wanted to quiet him and silence him. So they, every time they saw him with it, they would harass him. They would give him extra, you know, like just extra, extra hardships. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. Every time they see him. Yeah. So it, it was, so seven different times. He got beat to the point of like, you know, there was one time where he really almost died in the cell, like bust up wow. head, like with the button and all that. So, um, that's crazy. Yeah. But, yeah. but, but, you know, the, so we see people like him and then my father in his little own right to be like weed champions, you know, cause now it's available in your corner store. Right. Yeah, a lot of states here. And I remember as a kid, like this was, Something that was frowned upon. Frowned upon. But you could go to prison. You could. You know. You know. Yeah, this I definitely in know. Now we was talking about. But they yeah. need to let them out because yeah. I'm telling you now, it's still a big thing. Even in Texas, I think that's one of the biggest drawbacks because Texas has 160 prisons, more yeah. than everybody. More that's than, why yeah. they don't want to. If they turn it a certain way, they have to release people and do certain things exactly. to try to compensate yeah. for the things that they've already done. And I just don't see them just doing it right off. That's why they're holding it, trying to figure out. Because you're taxing it, they're going to make a lot of money off of it eventually right. anyway. Yeah. It always boils down to, to the money. money. Yeah. The prison system is also a thing of money. It's, yeah, it's sure. The more people that's incarcerated, the more these are private-owned companies man yes. more free labor they get well yeah. you know it, 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 it's and it's sad because like i said weed is something that it's it's as long as it's, it's medicinal it's, yeah but it, it is and it's also meditational it helps. and it and it, and it's um inspirational for for a lot of different things um you know for for healing relaxation for studying them kind of thing there so um for me though when you when you send people to prison especially a younger minded person he got to learn how to survive in there. That's right. And and those skills he learning in there is way worse than what he was smoking a joint. Like mm -hmm. in terms of, I would say it's good that he's learning to survive in there, but the connects and the things that's happening and 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 all of that type of lifestyle, he's he, the pattern is he's learning to either keep going back there or to do things or to be connected to people and things that. It's just gonna keep him in that circle, you know. Well, you gotta understand. Not only is he around people that sell weed, yeah. he's around people that was child what, molesters, yeah. was killers, was killers, exactly and then now, so he have to really he survive of the fittest. He have yeah. to try to survive. Exactly. So, and you got guards in there who letting people in on people to fight them, and mm -hmm. all. It's like a jungle. Yeah, it is. And it's a different. It's a different. When you talk about jungle, it's a different set of rules in there. That's right. So. When somebody goes in there as a young mind, just off a spliff, and then learns that, 
you know, it is damaging for, for, for out in the... In when what, they do come home. Yeah, in, in the coming home. From what you have heard, because I know you have never been, but what, from what you have heard, what's the difference between prisons in the U.S. compared to prison in Jamaica? Well, I've been to the prison in Jamaica oh, for, you visit, have? for visit. For visit. I was about to say. I've been to jail, but, but okay. not to but prison. Not to prison. Okay. But you know, just little minor mm -hmm. like fights and scuff. But my, um, I went to check my father. He got he got uh, fifteen years for manslaughter wow. at one time. I was I was thirteen years old. So just when I'm about to start looking up to. You know who who I'm looking to to be um, to a role to, model a role model as a man who I see myself in life. He goes in for 15 years, which is more years that I've ever seen Anybody in my life. Mind. In my life, in your life, I, I was yeah. 13. 13. Mm -hmm. So I was like, damn, it's longer than I've lived. I've never seen this dude again. And the time passed. You know, uh, he got uh, what you call it sentence when he when he got in there. I'll tell you what he got in there for, but. When he got in there, he started to write all of his friends, you know, that were influential business people. And he's like, yo, this is crazy in here. No, none of that. They don't have a sports program. They don't have proper dental or doctor, like anything like that. So he got all of these business people he knew yeah. to donate money. Wow. And they started a sports program in the prison. Because That's of big. him. So, That's so cricket, uh, soccer, which mm -hmm. we call football. And... Um, I don't, I don't know if they did track at the time. It was just those two sports. And mm -hmm. they started teams and they got shirts. And for doing that um, and helping out with the, in the hospital part, they really looked at his case favorably. And they took he got out, out, he got out, he got out six years. Oh, that's, so that's wow. not the full 15. That's yeah. good. That, and, and I agree, man. That, that, listen, man, that prison stuff is dead. So how was it when you because, visited, though? Well, because I was a kid, like, it impacted me crazy. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm 13 years old. I didn't see him for the first three years. Um, we was writing letters, and then I and then I went in there, and um, to to visit. And I kid you not, man, I, it shocked the fuck out of me. It did. It shocked you. Know, you know, I, mean, I can imagine. Like, damn, like like. Like I don't want to ever come here. <laughs> nah, and I made that decision then. You know, I'm like, you know, whatever I gotta do to stay out of right here, right. that's going to be me because I'm, I'm not going in here. And I believe that and everything then, happens for a reason because if he didn't, if your dad didn't go in there, yeah, he yeah. would not have gotten all of that done I do, I do have that same type of philosophy. But, but I've been to the, to the to prisons in the States as well okay. for yeah. visits. Yeah, for visits. Uh, visit someone in there, also in the UK. But uh, well, you've been to all of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they're very, in, in the, in the they States and the similar. UK, it's very disciplined. Different. Oh, discipline. discipline. Discipline to me, like, you know, uh, things are, are just a lot different. Like when in, in lock up in Jamaica, it's hot, it's old cells, you know, like I was told a story by the pops one time, Hurricane Gilbert, big, big hurricane. I remember that. I was there. He said that's 1988 mm -hmm. or 89, I think. I, I, I think 88. I thought I was having fun during that hurricane. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but, but, but he was in there. We actually blew away, me and my mom. Really? But, yeah, but I'll tell that story. <laughs> but but um, he told me that kids was in the prison because it's it's brick and, and just old, you know, the steel from, this is a fort that was built a long time ago. It's is this the one downtown? G yeah, General Penitentiary, yeah. GP. Mm -hmm. He was like, when the hurricane was coming and the storm was real hot, they just broke up. They just held on to the grill and it was vroom. And they was like, yo, come. And they bust him out too. And he's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going, going away. I got, I, got, I got a favorable sentence. Right. And if I do go, I'm going to get... It's going to mess it up. It's going to be worse. So he, <laughs> he didn't go. But from what I see is the difference is there's a lot more discipline and, and mm -hmm. you know, things provided like... You know, in Jamaica, it's if you think you have to learn things to survive in the States or in the UK, Jamaica, I think it's, it's a lot more um, crazy in that respect. Ten times worse. Yeah, it's a lot crazy. He told me some stories of things that he tried to save people from, from you know, being hurt. Um, I reasoned with him and, you know, just 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 what happened in there kind of messed him up too. Like, And he was a 34-year-old man when he went yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.